somebody. You be like Jesus and nobody. You be like the Lord and nobody. You be like Jesus. He's my friend and nobody. You be like Jesus. Thank you today because you give us what we need for the journey. 
You teach us, oh God, to number our days according to wisdom. And yet, God, we know that you will take good care of us. We're getting a day older every day, every year. This building keeps on leaning. And one day our soul has got to move. But you said I'd go away to prepare a place for you. And God, we thank you because you prepared it for us. We're just waiting down here, pilgrims and strangers in this barren land called life. God, we pray now that you would hold us. Give us, oh God, and restrain us from the things that we would do, but that you would restrain us, God, that we do what you want us to do. So God, praise God for all that you're doing right now. And we are looking for it. We can't tell what you're getting ready to do, but all we know, something wonderful is about to take place. And we praise you and give you thanks in advance for the powerful things you are doing in the midst of your children. We bless you and we thank you. For it's in the powerful name of the Lord Jesus we pray. Our hearts say, Amen. 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 I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord.
respect you and show up in that night. Amen. The Bible, I didn't say it. The Bible said what? Let your light so shine that men might see what? I ain't say no bad work. I ain't say no bad work. Good works. And glory for our Lord. Did my God tell you to He's here. Okay. He's going to start you with a tribute to my dear friend, Brother Joe, now. Papa Joe. No, but listen to Papa Joe. He's not 30. He's at Kellis. But he didn't think it was robbery after his church. He comes home every Sunday and helps me out on the court. Isn't that beautiful? And my, my subject last week, I preached from John 3, 16, and it said, what was your thing? What love got to do with it? Oh, that's what it is. That's all. It's got everything to do with this stuff. It's love. Love lifted us. So at this time, I don't know if he's coming in E-flat. I don't know what he's going to do it. Uh, my daughter is coming here. It's time to do a, a tribute to brother, Dr. Golden. So, mm.
another hand. Amen. I love my people. I might be trying to uh, pass you, but I love my boy, my people. We got some talented people here, you know that? We got some talented people here. Wonderful people. But you know what makes a difference? The anointing. You can sing all day long, but if you don't have that anointing, I won't feel it. Oh, I shouldn't have said that phrase. You go to so many places. Well, through the years you learn and you live, you've been a lot of places. Susie, you know I'm talking about you've been places, and it turns me off. I'm sorry, I gotta sing. It makes me sick in my stomach. I go to court and they sing it, and they say, I said, you sound good. Oh, we tore the place up. I want to get out there when you say that. Because I don't want it. I want to give God the glory. I want to give God the glory for everything. Ain't that right, Stubby? It's not about us. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. I don't care if you... I've been to conventions and turned up with God. You know, we've all been to conventions. And you talk to people in these quads, and they made it. And they can't even be friendly to you. And I'm looking at my Bible. I'm trying to see what, what God is serving. When you say you got the love of Jesus, come on in. You got to show it, and it gotta, it'll show up. Because that's very word you singing, somebody might need that. But the way you ugly, mm -mm, that's not of God. That's not of God. And guess what? What God gave you, gave you, don't be jealous of nobody else. Don't do that. For years I had to learn that. I used to roll my eyes at people like, and God said, well, I didn't give you that. I gave you something else. All right, man. So, bless the Lord for what he gave me. I thank God for our, our Papa Joe that he helps everybody. Yes, and sometimes, yes. I just get mad. I say, oh, you know what you're doing? He said, yes, I help you, man. <laughs> he do. Give me eight flat. <laughs> this is my first one falling my Papa in there. I had one song in the and I put that in 85. No, you know I'm the minute man. I write so many stuff. You know me. So, amen. Is that A flat for me? It's my papa's jokes. Is that cotton? Is that cotton? Get on them drum. Why you sick? Like you better get on them drum, Todd. You done broke, you see he done broke my thought, broke my, come on over, don't, don't you, my eyes ain't that bad, come on Cotton, don't, 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 don't you play, don't fool with me, here we go, A flat again, he threw me off, I had to do that, okay, my papa jump, we so glad, this, I have to walk when I just pop it, is that alright, I'll walk a little bit, we so glad God and bless you an another year. We so glad He brought you through all the storm and the rain. When the devil said you couldn't make it, God said, Look up and live.
That's why I can tell this for Joe. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday.
Praise the Lord. Is that right? Amen. Is that right? Amen. How you feeling all right out there? You feeling all right? Yeah. Amen. We done? Okay. Before we go on, I wouldn't dare without introducing my great leader, our bishop, the pastor of this church, Pastor Askins. Amen. 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 Now I'm on my way. That's all right. Woo. I tell you, I came in here with my cane. But look, I ain't got my cane right there. Y'all make me mess up in here. <laughs> it's something about the name of Jesus, isn't it? Come on, y'all talk back to me. Come on, talk back. Talk back, talk back. It's something about the name of Jesus, isn't that right? He'll pick you up. He'll turn you around. Place your feet. When I thought I was on my way out, guess what? God said, you're going to lift up and live. Oh, yes. At this time, my God brother, he loves Papa Joe. He's a member of the Gillis Church. Is he ready? All right, he's ready. He's coming with a spiritual dance. Let's give a hand for David Gordon. Amen.
Salvation Call Ensemble started moving around the city and started singing it all. He would often encourage me in things and would tell me about the gospel music workshop and I would see him there at the gospel music workshop. I'm very appreciative to you, Brother Roman. Honestly, I am because you are a big influence upon my musical life. God bless you. Thank you. My musicians, they done left there, people left me, left me hanging. No, they don't, don't try to get back on them all the keyboard. I don't know what key I'm gonna put this in, and then we're gonna take a station break for a minute, and then we come right back. Is that all right? Y'all know what the station break is, right? Okay, all right. I don't know what, let me see. I just feel this one, right? I just feel it. Mm, I can't sing, I got used to it. I don't know what the future holds. I don't know about today.
Tomorrow might find me broke without a dime. But you see, I'm not worried. See, fighting on time. I what? I made. Facebook, I made it publicly known 
that because of pandemic and many other things, numbers have fell off, giving has fell off, not just this church, but all over Baltimore and elsewhere. And to get a man of his status to come after he has done what he's supposed to do at his church, Phyllis, to help out here in Philadelphia, Christian Church Ministries, for what little bit that we give him is a blessing. But God knows, and he stored it up for you, brother. Your crown is waiting, amen. And it's got it all. <laughs> and I thank God for you, as the Apostle Paul says, in all ways in remembrance of you. So with that, we came here today because we love this man. And we should show our love and our affection, our appreciation monetarily in our giving. My brother over here, he don't know, he blessed me today. If I can help somebody along the way, then my living is not in vain. I asked my wife last night, he just confirmed my message tomorrow. I asked my wife if she could tell you, I said, give me the words to that song, if I can have somebody. I said, I want to incorporate it in my message. And I said, but I got to find the words. And sure enough, he got up there. Hallelujah. And sung that song. So let's show our love today by giving this great man of God a monitor again. I'm going to ask the Reverend Doctor Melvin Garrison to come out with a basket. Just one basket. Just one basket. Anybody from Gillis need to say anything before I move on? Anybody from Gillis? Yes. Anybody from Gillis got to say anything? Oh, oh they coming? Okay. All right. Praise God. Praise God, saints. Giving honor to God and to my friend Larry Atkins, the very fine angel of this church, to all the very fine musicians who have come here today. Some of y'all may not have known Joe Long. I've been a member of Gillis for 60 years. I, I joined Gillis when I was in the seventh grade at a little school down on Carlton in Saratoga called 182. <laughs> Didn't have but one grade, the seventh grade. And I uh, started going to Gillis and Reverend Jackson Sr. was the pastor at that time. And Roland Joe Smith and Aunt Money, Sylvia Persons were the musicians at the time. And I had never heard nobody play a B3 Hammond organ like Joe. And what you might not know about Joe is Joe has played for some of the most infamous gospel musicians in the world. Most of them are gone now. But Joe was the first person that James Cleveland took from Baltimore. Now he took several more after that. But Roland Joe Smith was the first. When Albertina Walker and the Caravans, Dodgley Norwood, Clara Ward, when they came through Gillis, Joe was at the organ. 
They had their own pianist. But Joe played for all of them. I remember many years ago when Bishop Winfield Showell would have his convocation and he would bring, the only person you could bring to do your music in the Pentecostal world at that time was Maddie Moss Clark. And he would bring Maddie in and nobody else, and this was way before Twinkie started traveling with her, nobody else would play for Maddie Moss Clark whenever she came to Baltimore for Rolling Joe Smith. So Joe, we applaud you. Uh, you are a true legend that a lot of people don't know about. I can name some of the major organ legends. Billy Preston, who was from the West Coast. Uh, you had some folk in Detroit, Herbert Picard and others that were in, out of Detroit. You had Alfred and J.C. White out of New York. But when you got to Baltimore, it wasn't but one. And that was Rolling Joe Smith. We love you, Joe. And keep on playing. And serving God. Because let me tell you, God gave him a gift. And he could have gone in R&B and did everything else, but God kept him with the Lord. Thank you. Amen. Let's get it all right. Robin, is that Robin? Come on, Robin. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. I am, I call him Poppy. I am his number one goddaughter. I was before there was a Kelly, a Jojo, and three. Everyone knew my dad as Fish. I am Fish's daughter. Fish and my dad were like this, as we say, gum on shoe. When my dad passed, Poppy said, you know, as your godparent, your godparent always steps in as your father. I can truly say, Poppy, thank you for everything that you've done for me. When there was no one there for me, there was Poppy. When I took the initiative to go in the mortuary field, and there were, and Uncle Carlton knows there wasn't a whole lot of females in there. Poppy was supportive of me. Uncle Carlton too. I took that and went into the forensic field. Being one of the first forensic lab techs, and I'm the reason why you have a Merlin DNA database. Poppy was there to support me for that. When they told me or coerced me to take the biggest step to go into the police academy, I got all kind of negative comments. Poppy was like, you can do this. I was like, uh-uh. He's like, yes, you can. The one that I know that can do this, you can do this. When I graduated, magnum cum laude. Poppy was right there. I thank you for being my rock. I thank you for being the one that I could call on early in the morning, no matter what time of day it was. 
No matter if I was sick, you were right there. It means a lot to me. I'm your number one, and you'll always be my number one. Love you. Amen. We always agree. Amen. God bless you. That's wonderful. That, that is, that's really beautiful. That is.
He changed my life every day. He changed. He changed. 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 I just feel it. Papa Joe adopted us, and when we go to this man right here, is actually gospel royalty. Yo, we just so we, we really don't understand. We go to a gospel music workshop of America. There are people that know him all the way from California, all the way back over here. I've met so many people. I started to feel like royalty myself. He called, he always said that, that's my brother, that's my brother, that's my brother. And a lot of times we, we wait until somebody is laid out. You know, because I wasn't going to say anything, but I love this man right here. He's my brother. He's like a real brother to me. That's all I wanted to say. I had to say something because it is his birthday. <laughs> Wow. 
blessed me once and he blessed me twice he's been blessing me all the days of my life he yes he is this is what he did for me he picked me up one day.
leave your father, leave here. Did I leave anybody out? I, I got everybody? You happy? You happy? You happy? All right. This is my song for Joe, and then I'm going to turn it over to the honorary, and then after that, the bishop, and then we'll be going out. Is it all right? And I'm, I'm saying bye for the night. What's up with that order? Don't Don't scare me like that. Oh my God. Uh, uh, this is our song we do this. I I feel like go.
Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Uh, you know I'm tired. My favorite words. But I want to thank you all for coming. And you know I love you. Katie wants to say something. Okay. But I, I want to tell you this. And I want you to pray for me. Ah. Uh, I'm not doing too. I'm not doing too well. Some issues in our life are sickness. Can 
hit us real hard. Sometimes it'll knock the wind out. And I want to pray. I, I, want, I want all of you who, who knows the power of prayer. Dr. Adams, please excuse me, sir. But, but, you, you, you know, you know, you know, I, I, I know the healing power of prayer. And one of my prayer warriors lived in Jamaica. She said to me, we don't call on the Holy Ghost like we should. You, you know there's power when you call on the Holy Ghost? None of us are exempt from having illness in our bodies. We, 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 we've been sick. They, they told me in 2020 that I had pneumonia. They told me I had the COVID. They sent me down and, and put me on an isolator and told me I wasn't going to make it to the next step. Come on now. Okay. I, I, I just believe, I'm crazy enough to believe in the power of God. They put me on that machine. I went to sleep. When I woke up, the doctor says, I've never seen this before, that I urinated 15 bags of urine, and all of that fluid and stuff was inside of me was gone. I was in the hospital for three more days. I got up and walked out. Because none of us are exempt from if the enemy can get in a little pinch hole, he'll come in because we're not exempt. I went home, got out of my car, and went, a guy came up to me, a young guy, and, and asked me for $2. I said, I don't have nothing but my card. I put my hand on the door. He stabbed me. I fell out. When I woke up, I was in John Hopkins Hospital. And they kept me there. And, and they cut me. And, and did some fixing and all that kind of stuff. Brother, they, they did all kind of stuff. Never been cut before. But I prayed and went to sleep that night. And I'm saying this to you now, Joe. I'm saying, you know, we had conversations on the phone. I'm, I'm saying this to you. That I'm going to call the power yes, of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. This, this lady in Jamaica says, tell the Holy Ghost to burn up everything inside of you. Yeah. That's not so. And, and, and I'm going to say right there because I know it's already activated. And I, I, I know it's already done. Whatever it is, he's going to fix it. And, and, and all you got to do is be crazy enough to believe that he'll do it. Because he's already working on it. You, 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 know, you know, we are children of the Most High. something happens just call him yes, and, and, and David he'll, he'll, he'll fix it and guess what even if he don't fix it he's still gone yes. now, now all y'all stand your hands over here y'all stand your hands over here God we call you we called you Abba Father. You're a mighty and a majestic God. The message is in the Word. And in the Word, you declare that you are a doctor, a healer, and that you never lost a patient. We pray now and lift my brother Joe right now before you. You already know the situation. You already know what's going on. But we stop right now and lift our brother. We, we, we know what the enemy had done. He caused this COVID to come to separate us 
but now you're calling us back together. We, we need each other. We, we cry with one another. We laugh with one another. We pray with one another. We encourage one another. And God, I'm praying right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Move in a powerful way. Lift his heart right now. Touch his mind right now. Lift his spirit right now. God, we know that you can and you will. Because you're already working it out to will to your good pleasure. We thank you today for all these prayer warriors that are around us. We thank you today because we, we, we don't deserve everything that you give us. But just because we're forgiven, you touched us and blessed us anyhow. So God, do now as only you can. Be God all by yourself. Fix it now because I know you're already at work. When it's all said and done, we're going to keep on giving you the glory. We're going to keep on honoring you. So we bless you and we thank you. For it's in the powerful name of the Lord Jesus we pray. Our hearts say, Amen. Come on, give God a praise for the power of prayer. And the man of God who prayed, amen. I'm going to ask. Dr. Jesse Frazier to close with his closing remarks or song or something before I give the benediction. Amen. He's scheming. I, I wanted to hear that song you wrote. You said you can't sing it now. I heard you last Sunday over there sing a song that you wrote. Oh, he said, oh. F. F. Let me say this song. F. I want to say this about him though. I'll say this. One. That's a blessing that you got a friend yeah. like this man. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. This would not be possible if he really did not uh, stay steadfast and wanted to bless his friend, yeah. our friend. Thank you, Doctor. We appreciate you. Give him a hand. We appreciate it. Uh, I'm, since you prayed for Joe and this is my song I wrote it came up in my mind uh, for Joe because we know because the, the prayers of the righteous you know Val, much, you know if you don't pray and don't believe it don't pray <laughs> uh, F a little more faith I think uh, y'all can catch it when I do something yeah, it's with Joey. It's you, Joey. Just have a little more faith. A little more faith. The size of a mind.
mission on giving the benefits. And it ain't over until it's over. But you miss your blessing. God our Father, we thank you for what has taken place here today. Thank you for your servant, Roland J. Smith. Thank you, God, that you had anointed him from on high and that he is continuing to do your work in the ministry by lifting up praises to you, celebrating, blessing others, oh God, in song. We thank Dr. Frazier, who had a mind of want to show his friend the love that he deserves. And we thank you, God, for those who turned out today. Oh, God, come on with your blood right now in the name of Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise, oh God, that has taken place here. Now, God, keep us in your camp.